Good afternoon. It's a sad time in the world with the most recent violence that happened in Florida. I can't begin to hmm, fulfill your need for comfort right this second because I too, along with others, feel an anger and a frustration because this idea that the way we handle our problems is through violence, through a continuing separation among us generationally, culturally, through ethnicity, it doesn't matter. We figure out a way that we're different. We have labels for everything and everyone, but there seems to be no label for humanity that we can all embrace because we still consider that some belong and some do not. I can't begin to fathom how I could ever go back to a world where we can't be inclusive. I can't go back to that world. I've been doing this much, much too long, and I know that deep down inside, it is going to require a resolve to make this world better, starting with each of us. Was there a time I was homophobic? Probably. I can't remember. Was there a time when um, I thought that one group was superior to another? In all probability, I'm a person who addresses her implicit biases every day, and I challenge them every day to be inclusive and embracing the other to the point, for me, there is no other. There just isn't. It's us. It's not us or them. There is no them. It's us. And it is time that we figure out that we're going to be an us or there will be no us. 50 people, 500, 5,000. Did anybody think about the consequences of the atomic bomb? No. I had the bigger gun. I used it. Put your guns away. I'm not talking about figuratively. I'm talking about all the ways in which we demolish another human beings or other human beings, figuring out a way to make it their fault that we're victimizing them. Somebody told me I was an advocate for the gay community, and I said, no, I'm not. I'm an advocate for the human community. It's going to require us, grandmothers, mothers, fathers, those who have the capacity to love and have the realization that that capacity never wanes over time. It only increases. I stand with Florida, but I also do not want the backlash against my Muslim friends. And for those who say, well, I can acknowledge their humanity, but not their sin. I say you don't get to decide what sin is for another individual. Check yourself at the door. Check your own sin, your own sin of judgment, biases that inflict pain, prejudices that continue to separate us. Look in the mirror and figure out that it is going to take all of us in being the us. And once we start doing that, I do believe that the world can change. I really do believe that. I said to someone today, I'm a patient person. I have seen things not change in communities of people who are friends. The minute there's a problem, we're separate again because we don't really build those strong relationships that build our capacity 
to continue to love in spite of whatever tragedy befalls us. And at this point in time, I realize that I need even more patience. But my patience is like a glass ceiling. I don't recognize that I've lost that patience until I hit that ceiling because it seems clear and then I seemingly cannot stand it anymore. Violence usually comes from those who are hurting or have watched people hurting one another and want to get in the hurting game. But I truly am in the love game. And I love so many of you. But I'm watching us separate because we want to make it into that it's okay that it happened to that person. Or it's okay because you shouldn't have been drinking and so therefore you get raped. That it's okay because you're gay and you need to get Christ in your life and stop being gay. Well, I'm your brick wall because you can't continue to bring that to me. I won't tolerate it. And I won't be patient with you. And as I said, I practice patience. But enough is enough. God bless. And recognize that there are those of us who are standing for others that are standing for an inclusive world, a loving world. And it's a fight and it's a struggle. But peace is not the absence of conflict. It's how we handle that conflict and make things better for all of us.